Now with the production app up and running, next steps are to ensure you have enough visibility on the production environment. For instance, ensuring all logs are being captured and you can search for required events, errors. If you need to capture all logs centrally to AWS CloudWatch, make sure you capture the logs and send the logs from virtual machines or services which don't log by default to AWS CloudWatch. In that case, you need to install CloudWatch agent on the VMs to capture and send logs to AWS CloudWatch service. In terms of tooling, if you are already using tools like Jenkins to build and deploy applications, you may continue to use it and modify the pipeline to use uh, AWS CLI for deployment to the required AWS environment. And if you are building your continuous deployment processes from scratch, you could use tools like AWS Code Pipeline to manage your continuous deployment processes. And in terms of best practices, make sure you are capturing enough metrics for your application as well as the environment to ensure automated continuous 24 by 7 monitoring and trigger notifications to the required teams once the threshold values are violated. Also track the logs that is being accumulated by the application and the environment and the size of the logs and if the logs are being transferred to CloudWatch across VPCs as the CloudWatch logs might grow substantially over a period of time and can incur significant cost. So as a best practice you can keep only the frequent logs in the console and transfer all the logs to a less frequently used S3 storage and maybe later to Glacier storage for archival and audit purpose.